We Love Facts presents 10 Bizarre Attempts to Weaponize Insects Sniffer Bees Biologists trained a new strain of sniffing bees that can detect landmine and IEDs faster than sniffer dogs and from as far as three miles away. Biologists and beekeepers worked together over a period of three years to develop the special bees. They trained the bees to search for the smell of explosives by mixing the smell in a sugary solution that they feed to the bees. Over time, the bees acquire a sense of smell that is tuned to sniffing out landmines and similar explosive devices. Operation Itching It involves taking a large number of fleas infected with some deadly virus like the hepatitis or cholera virus and then releasing them in a densely populated area. Nazis were seriously thinking about the prospects of using such fleas as a biological weapon of mass destruction. Scorpion Bombs 2,000 years ago, those same Romans and the Roman Emperor had set their sights on conquering Mesopotamia. However, the desert fortress at Hatra stood in the way of the Emperor. It was a giant fort with a five-mile defensive perimeter and citizens who were prepared to give the Romans a battle of a lifetime. <laughs> and they did, hurling down thousands of venomous scorpions from the top of the fort walls. It didn't take long for the Romans to succumb to the terror of these deadly insects raining down upon them, and they eventually abandoned their siege. Malaria Bombs Nazi scientists were carrying out experiments to breed a new kind of mosquitoes that would be able to survive a flight over the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the USA. The big plan was to infect millions of mosquitoes with malaria and then drop mosquitoes from the air on American civilians. An attack like this was practically unrealistic owing to the short lifespan of mosquitoes and their sensitivity to high altitude and varying temperatures. A Cyberbug Secret research of the U.S. Army is known to be working on many cool things, including bizarre attempts to weaponize insects. It involves hacking into the body of an insect to allow a human operator to control the bug's actions through a controller. The bugs are controlled by inserting metal electrodes into certain parts of the body, like the brain and specific muscles that are responsible for flapping the wings and moving limbs. The cyborg bugs can be used in various missions for detecting explosives and drugs or the number and positions of terrorists. Bee Bombs Anyone who's been bitten by a bee is fully aware of what these little devils are capable of when they're provoked. In their bizarre attempt to weaponize insects, the Roman legions would often use this to their advantage by using catapults to hurl beehives over the walls of enemy fortresses. Terrified and unable to fight back, the enemy forces would become easy targets for Roman artillery and archers. Operation Big Buzz The purpose of this mission, conducted by the U.S. government, was to test the feasibility of dropping thousands of mosquitoes over a crowded city and estimate the coverage area of the mosquitoes. Carried out in 1955, this test dropped 330,000 uninfected yellow fever mosquitoes over the state of Georgia. Operation Big Buzz is among the most bizarre attempts to weaponize insects in the history of mankind. I wonder how that's how the whole Zika thing and West Nile virus got started. Hmm. Japanese Unit 731 When the Japanese army invaded mainland China, they set up a top-secret facility in Pingfan. This facility was the home of the infamous Unit 731, the Japanese equivalent of the Nazi Biological Warfare Division. The facility was known to store thousands of infected rats, fleas, and mosquitoes. Just before the Allied forces captured the area, the Japanese destroyed the facility to erase all traces of evidence and any research data. But the rats, fleas, and mosquitoes that escaped killed numerous people. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and leave us a comment below. To stay up to date with the most amazing videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. A new video is coming out soon.